It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Live action coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. John Stone starts alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. The match is underway. Kane. Intelligent threaded pass here. Well, offside, but a tight call. Well, that was really close. It was almost the perfect run, wasn't it? Silva. It's with Ruben Neves. Gonzalo Ramos. Guerrero. A really top notch piece of defending. Henderson. It's with Ruben Neves. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. 
They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. Short corner favour. Maguire. John Stones. And an astute piece of defending. Fernandes. Gonzalo Ramos. And Bernardo Silva has it. And the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Henderson. And they couldn't keep possession. Routine, really. Ottavio. An incisive pass. Terrific save. Going to be a throw in for Portugal here. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Stones. Walker now. And he takes it away. Now, who can he play it to? And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Foden. Here's Luke Shaw. Foden. Top class defending. England looking dangerous. And Bellingham. Now with Shaw. Guerrero. Just the clearance that was called for. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, a fantastic save. And now we find out it was offside anyway. Kane. A textbook interception. Ruben Neves. Fernandes. Portugal looking dangerous. Now disappointing end to the move. enough in front of goal keeper has it now and the referee felt he had to blow the whistle Not a good pass. Great vision from Harry Kane. Oh, that's a fine save.
they're going for the short one. And there's the feed into the box. And the danger still on. Well, that's the end of that for now. Joao Felix. And a failure to keep the ball on Portugal's part. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Who can he pick out? It's a cross towards the near post. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. And Bellingham. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will it continue? No, high quality defending. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And he might be through here. He can't hold on to it. And thumped away. And Bernardo Silva has it. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take one of them. Mind you, what a save that was. Yes, they just have to make sure they stay defensively compact here. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Otavio on to Silva oh good vision and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately can they cover up well they can keep possession now Walker Henderson Harry Kane, Foden, oh, fine stop. <laughs> and the short option preferred to get it away Foden and making the move to the inside so the whistle then we're up the halfway stage in this match Well, the ball is moving again and what to do for Portugal in this second half you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking to come you would think and a yellow card it's going to be Stuart yeah the ref's got that right it's a yellow card all day long
Ramos. Stones attending to his defensive duties. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And tidily played. Joao Felix. And now Guerrero. And keeping it out. And time for the change now. Short corner it is. Ronaldo at the ready. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Growing pressure here. And another corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not to be this time. Got to it easily, the keeper. Declan Rice. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Bruno Fernandes. Throw in for Portugal coming up. He could pick out a teammate. Ronaldo. Oh, a vital interception. And Bernardo Silva has it. And he's through here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. There to win it back. And Bernardo Silva has it. And closed down straight away. Well, it's been a good last 15 minutes for Portugal. They're having most of the ball now, and they've created chances. They just haven't had that end product. But you just get a sense that equaliser is coming. Yeah, it's really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Fernandes on to Silva Bernardo Silva and he wasn't messing around with the clearance and into the last 30 minutes now England moving the ball forward what can they do from here well it came to nothing in the end Felix, offensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Good vision. Can he get onto this? No way through. An England corner as they push to add to their advantage. And played short. Great towards the near post. And it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Ruben Neves. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Walker. Attacking possibilities for England. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Joao Felix Ronaldo 
Nicely timed tackle. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it petered out. Kane. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Back underway. Ruben Neves. And he was in the right place to intercept. Foden. And return to Kane. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Ronaldo. Must be! Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace, just couldn't finish it off. When you see those stats, it's amazing how they're trailing in this game because they've created so many chances, they just haven't taken them. At some point, they've got to get back into this game. Declan Rice. Alexander-Arnold. And it might appeal to Raheem Sterling, you know. Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Chance to make a game of it here. Oh, keeper dealt with it. And a goal kick is the outcome. Alexander Arnold. Phil Foden now. Declan Rice. Foden. Is it going to be Raheem Sterling? Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target is because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Five minutes to go. Not problematic for the keeper.
Henderson. Now Harry Kane. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Henderson. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Ricardo Orta. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Cristiano Ronaldo and a timely intervention Foden Kane and he clears it out of harm's way and there goes the final whistle England have won the World Cup for the first time since 1966 and I have to say, Derek, they fully deserve it. England, the world champions! Well, what a scene to witness. After 56 years of hurt, 